Hello guys, welcome to another video of Simulink Tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to design an up counter or down counter and to solve the problem of algebraic loops. So let's start with the design. Simulink library. Space mode. Model. To design an up counter, we will need a constant block, then a unit delay block that you will find in the script library. Then you need an add block for adding and scope to see the output so let's make the connection so the basically logic behind implementing this up counter is that to keep adding one to the output of this add block now let's see what will happen if I connect the output of the add block directly to the input so here you can see you get an error that is simulink cannot solve the algebraic loop containing this file so what should we do to avoid such error? So we need this previous connection. Right click the delay block in rotate and flip option flip the block so the output of the delay block is connected to the add block and the output of the add block is connected to the input of this unit delay block so whenever there is this output at each time step the output will be delayed and the one will be added to the output. So let's see output of this. So here you can see it is counting from 0 to 50. Now there is question that what will I do if I want to count from only 1 to 5 then if the output reaches 5 then it again counts from 1 to 5 so for this we will need a switch block so you can type switch in the search box and enter it switch block right click and untitle it Delete the previous connections. Only for the output. Now, this is the adder output, which is I am connecting to the center of the switch block. As you know, how to implement the if else logic in Simulink. So, if my output of the add block is greater than 5, that is the threshold, if my output is greater than this threshold value, that is 5, then the output should be again. Okay. Mm 
वन सो इन द इनिशियल कंडीशन ऑफ पिगले ब्लॉक दैट इज जीरो सो हियर वी हैव टू कीप द कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू एट जीरो जीरो एल्स इफ इट इज नॉट ग्रेटर देन फाइव दैट इज लेस देन फाइव देन आउटपुट शुड बी पास एज इट इज एंड दिस इज आर फाइनल आउटपुट एंड दिस फाइनल आउटपुट वैल्यू शुड बी डिलेड टू द डिले ब्लॉक नाउ रन द मॉडल सी फॉर आउटपुट वी आर गेटिंग सो हियर यू कैन सी इट इज काउंटिंग फ्रॉम वन टू फाइव now again the question is this is the up counter what will i do if i want to design a down counter so for that purpose we change only few things um first of all sign of this block to subtract or to create a down counter we need to subtract one from the output at each cycle So minus one and the plus sign for the output and for this condition green now I want to count from five to one. so for that purpose if my output <coughs> is greater than 0 that is if it is 1 to 5 then the output should be as it is from the output of this block It is the minus plus add block, and if the output is less than zero, that is this output is less than zero, then the output should go to five. That is five should five five should be sent. and again it will count from 5 so let's check what is the output of this model so in this graph you can see it is counting from 5 to 1 now let's see what if i keep the condition as greater than or equal to then the model so it is going from 5 to 0 then 5 so be careful by giving the condition of this wedge block and the key point to remember in this model is that whenever you give feedback from output to the input of any model don't forget to add delay block in the connections and another point is that if you want to copy any block from the model in the same shape in that case Just right click, hold, and drag the block. This is the way you can copy the block. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.